middle. And uh, the first kill those dual leads towards lower. Let's go. All right, Amor opens things up. Naphany and Inters right back in exchange here. One expert odds up ever in Cloud9, but they're going to consider this duel done. Inters has a lot of space. They just have to get away, and the bomb has been able to round the corner. Inters up towards the top of A has been spotted and noted here. The rotation coming in. There's a flash on Amor. Need to get this bomb across, and that's on the back of Naphany for now. Paz thinks better of running through the gray screen, and that means the bomb will get planted here. So 40 seconds thrust onto the clock and a three-on-three -three retake. Yeah, the CTs, a couple of players towards spawn. We have got Paz encroaching on the short position as well, waiting for those smokes to dissipate, and here comes Hobbit. A brutal backstab potential here as the CT start to make their way up. Jumping shots attempted there by the dual elites, confirming two players on the side itself. Time ticking away and no kit, but headshots are plenty as we'll trade a couple of kills here. It's going to be quite clean for Cloud9 in the end. And Nafani with two headshots of the people. Not as big of an issue. Well, lots of damage inflicted and Woxie looking to convert those shots as well. It's a strong position. They need to be careful here, and they are going to swing out to him and he'll convert one of the kills right here, right now. That's Shiro going down. A huge scalp to take. Still focusing on the long control. Can I retract my previous statement? Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> no need to here, because Woxic, he's going to swing again. And he's got support of Magic. Magic's going to tag one up. Woxic will finish it off on an Axile and a shot go. from Woxic onto Hobbit. The pit destroyed. Another tag. Woxic showing what he's got here from the top of sight. Stolen Cloud9 out before they could even get any control. Oh, not even overstaying his welcome. Look at Woxic over the smokes. It doesn't matter. And now Inters in a one on three. Turn one on two. The flank is here. Well, he's aware of it. Inters will presumably pick this kill up, but there it is. The force by victory for Eternal Fire, courtesy of Voxic as well. Four kills and lots of tags going in there, Chad. We've seen this so many times on Dust 2. The long area is very difficult to take on the T side. Those scouts can really chip away at you. That's the recipe for success, though, is consistently re-peaking. And right. this is the early tag that was taken onto poor Shiro here, how the early damage was done. But with this long control, it's very understandable why you see teams rinse and repeat it. But if you cannot push the scout off the pop peak, you can see there's Antara is completely white as he rounded the corner. But I want to see more from Magic. Yesterday, he had a fantastic performance there on Vertigo, keeping up with Zantaras, who was uh, the best performer for EF yesterday in their bout against Furia. So it made their inspiration. Pretty good game, wasn't it? It was actually entertaining. I, I think here's the case. I think I overestimated what to get out of Furia and underestimated what to get out think, of EF. I think everyone did, to be fair. We, we have uh, a lot of expectations for Furia. Didn't really turn up in the fashion we expected, but here's Woxig once again. This time, not quite as successful. That's a great opening kill for Hobbit. Makes his way up towards the A side, and that should be a second as well. No problem whatsoever. Cloud9 running away with this round. Just Santara is remaining. He's doing a very good job with that M4, but uh, could be all for naught here. Still fancies his chances. This would be the ace clutch. Okay, well, this smoke will be fading momentarily here. I was looking for her hit for his third kill, and he's just going to get it. Okay, on the about Cloud9, Lord. it's just like, I've taken just, shots. Just turned up. Keep the bullying onto the desk, boys. We're not throwing jabs your way. <laughs> <laughs> we're just sticking to out. We're sticking in our lane. Keep my head down. Yeah, we're just doing the job, and you guys are out here trying to rumble us. Well, again, some aggression up mid. Walks it top of A with the scout. And it's Shiro, who's back of Cat here, can grab a kill and a half. A good find there from Paz, and now Condemned to Long will be Cloud9. The Battle of the Blue Logos here. Nice tidy nade there down the back pocket. You like to see that. You certainly do. This round is still dangerous for Cloud9, but they get closer and closer towards the A side. The Moor doesn't seem to be aware of how close they are, and he should be going down momentarily to this MAC-10. There it is. The final will take him down. Molotov towards the CT spawn position. Still not a confirmed round here. The bomb actually down towards the pit position. So Hobbit once again, fantastic little flank. Great spray control, and that should be it. And uh, that's going to break the economy completely for EF. No more chances to rebuy. Have to take the full eco here. And uh, this worked out like a stretch their legs. The always reliable Uncle Hobnob here. He's just uh, come Absolutely. through, secured the round. Nobody looking. Great stuff from Hobbit. And this is when he was he first introduced to this team. You have to go back in your way back time machine now. But this is what he brought the pedigree, the experience. Uh, shall we? Make it a quick one. No messing around. There is a player on the side. They potentially overlooked. That's going to be Paz. He does very well with the silence USP to open things up. Shiro has dropped. That's probably the only kill okay. they get. So I'm already wrong in that department. So a three on three potentially can grab that weapon. We'll see if more can grasp it. He actually does. So getting out with an AK-40, that's not bad at all. What about Edward Forty Hands? You ever play that game? I didn't. Who is that? Or what is that? Uh, it's like Edward Scissorhands. Right. Now, I don't recommend this for children out there. This is not a fun game that anybody... And it's an American thing. Right, was, okay. I think it was in like How I Met Your Mother or something along those lines. But. Uh, you would tape 
these oh, 40, uh, 40 as in a beer, right? Yeah, two okay, of them to your hands, and then you can only... Un yeah, it's kind of a silly drink. It's a very game. silly game to be playing. Don't, don't be playing games like that, kids. No, just don't drink in general, I would say. Avoid it. Yeah, there's a lot of vices. Counter-Strike should probably be the only one, as uh, it is a 4-1 lead for Cloud9 now. Almost seems counterintuitive as a statement that what the in-game leader feels the most comfortable on. But we'll get into the action. We can have that debate a little bit later here. One-way smoke dropped and one deployed in exchange. And we'll, we'll make it across. Only taking a slight chunk of damage. They're down to 74. Yeah. So after winning that second round four spy, of course, getting themselves in the, involved in the eco wards. You can see Woxie without the AWP to kick things off in the first gun round. That is a problem. Really do need him to come online here to stand the chance against Cloud9, I would say. Found themselves in a bit of a desperate situation to start here, but uh, certainly recoverable. Uh, problem is they have no kits, however, as uh, round six well underway here. Lower B control for Cloud9. Looking for potentially a mid-split chat, I would say. They've got four players towards a position. Shiro with the bomb in the back and Axel watching for rotations and any flanks. I don't to a lot of utility while taking this map control, aren't they? And this is an opportunity now for Shiro. If you do step across the mark here and want to take a little bit of a looky-loo, Shiro will blow their socks off. <laughs> as uh, the short control has been garnered. And once again, we have to return to just the sheer amount of utility remaining here, Henry. We have five Molotovs for Cloud9. Pick your poison. 45 seconds okay. left on the clock. You can execute wherever you want. And remember, without the AWP, crossing towards A is much more viable now. They're obviously not aware of that, but uh, once they get the information, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to fully execute. We'll see how this one pans out as we get to the 32nd mark. Daphne will be... Calling for the smoke, just showing a little bit of presence towards B. Throws a Molotov towards the platform, just trying to ruffle some feathers here. And they do continue their positioning towards short. Oh, time's the biggest issue right now. Inters is trying to sell this mid to B. Zentaris is the man they want to draw over, and maybe they could have if Inters got that kill. Bruce. Running out, 15 seconds. This is going to be very hard to rumble. Axile doesn't get the kill into a more. Woxic should be winning the round right here, right now. Just has to deny this plan, and will. The trade potential for Hobbit, it's available, but there's not going to be enough time to plant that bomb. Save the AWP if you can here, Hobbit. And that's if you can. Not going to get run down just yet. The jumping shot, not landing on the 22 points of health. And that's to Cloud9. No, there's just one man locking down this A site, not even towards the site. Oh, don't peek at Woxie. Don't do it. Not into Shiro. Ooh. Miss. Whistles by. Gives Woxie a chance. Now he's actually hanging around to take this fight. I guess they're hedging at this point in the round, right? They're assuming no space has been taken towards short because the rotation back for Woxic here won't be very safe. Doors will be blocked now. Hobbit's going to go through with a... F Whoa, a flash came over from towards middle there and it didn't do anything. And more was in the open, so he gets a freebie on towards Hobbit. Axel tries to fill his boots. Yeah, they brought us back to a 4-4. Four and four. Clumsy. Quite clumsy, yeah. Trying to sneak out there, forcing the issue. At the one-minute mark, once again, Woxic here, and he will be dropped. That's really unfortunate now for EF. They're in a four versus two, Zontaras. And the manager will be remained. And uh, at this stage, I feel like they have to save. They're the B players, and there'll be no chance of this one. It felt like they were going to have to save after the kill on Paz to start the round because right. they, they hedged their bets over towards B quite heavily here. Well, they went for that aggressive maneuver, right? They're trying to get two players in towards lower B, and then Zontaras left on a bit of an island, had to fall back. All that information garnered. And uh, yeah, the round falls apart, even after a decent kill on Hobbit and Long. Okay, well, five to two. A fortunate saving onto these guns here. Not a whole lot of cash in the coffers for EF going forward. If we take a look at the loss bonus, 1,900 into the next round. So will they take a well, Nico? Will they take a Force? We have got a Zantara's AK-47. Anything yeah, can and will happen. Believing. Yeah. Well, that's one of them removed, unfortunately. But Magia will see Zantara, the man himself, holding on to the AK outside B. Shouldn't be hunted down here, so that's absolutely fine. But... Uh, it will be 5-2 after this bomb explodes. Well, as we have a lull in gameplay right here, Henry, I uh, want to quickly shout out our observer today. Uh, that's Jakey. He's taken to the ones, two, threes, fours, five, six, or seven. Big eights, shout out and, to Jakey. Uh, zeros, of course. I forgot the nines. Of course. Uh, but also for Jakey, we, we wish him luck for tonight. He has an ESCA open match. Does he with, really? Uh, SCO. That would okay, be, nice. That'll be taken on some of the best that Counter Strike has to offer. So. Solo AK-47. Bit of a four-man stack towards Long, but here he comes. Looking to cause mass damage here, if possible. Hobbit, more than aware of the prospect, though. Jumps up towards the lower B boxes, just patrolling the area. But uh, it's going to be Nafany, I believe, that will find him as he backstabs from middle. Great opening kill. That's pretty much all the threat thwarted. Yeah, kind of nice that Nafany can just stroll down mid like Not that. Not bad, is it? Just find a freebie like that. Yeah, so uh, the AK now completely removed from play. It is just the Deagle is the biggest threat now. And you can just wait for the rotations, uh, the reaction plays at this stage. That's all they really had going into the round, right? So just pump the brakes and eventually some kills should be found here. We have got a CT pushing towards long. 
could potentially find a kill here, but wow, that's a nice shot from Axel. Axel's very sharp, one of the most mechanic mechanically gifted players I think we have uh, in Counter-Strike at the moment. Let's see if they can continue to light up the server here oh, today. Shiro's uh, missed a couple there, but that's all right. Axel and Hobbit to clean up the mess. Everybody can smell the blood in the water of these Ecos, the unarmored opponents that light investment here. Everybody's favorite kills. So twenty four hundred dollars into the next round. Uh, you can see Woxie looks amazing. Away, pulls out his grenade. That's when he pushes. It forces them in towards B. They know it as well. Still a chance to win the round. It would take a couple of missed shots from Adji here, but uh, not going to happen. He's taking all the aggro away from the car position. Has start to spray them down. One player remains. It's Jiro, who hasn't had the best game so far, and that's yeah, very nicely done. We've got Madger as well towards upper B. Ooh, careful now, Madger. This is the recipe for success. Zantara and Woxie both fragging, but Madger and more. They just need to stay alive. Amor has gone down for now. Some space to be taken. But again, the response time from EF, it's been on point. They haven't overstepped the mark too many times. They've made sure to continue to play as a team. Things get a little bit sketch. And Hobbit and Axel are very low on HP. It's difficult to see how Cloud9 can contest for a round like this. We'll see what they can make of it. Axel has to be the linchpin, if you ask me. Well, that's been removed. Zantara's really starting to warm up now. These are the two players you need to see big numbers from. Zantara's and Woxic, and they're delivering on all fronts. Smoke down for Woxie, give himself a bit of a one way to maneuver around the bomb side with. I dare say he'll get another one here. That's Hobbit dropped. Four versus two, and they're just limping into the side shad. They've got no response for this. Yeah, just looking for the jewels, and Woxie's gonna lock them all down. One more kill, couldn't quite connect the dots, but Paz. Whatsoever, they're taking full control here. Snap need to defend once again, hasn't inflicted really any damage so far, as they'll take control of the bomb site. It's magic towards long. And uh, waiting for that reactive play, and can't quite hit the shot, unfortunate for him. Uh, that's important for him to get that kill right now. Oh, jeez, okay, oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's one that I'm going to remember. That's what uh, he's known for, at least. Okay, how many more of those do we have? I was saying this is going to be quite difficult here, but uh, taking their way in towards the side, bomb. Starting to tick on down, and another kill for Paz, this time just holding him the door right now. Axel needs to activate, and has got a kill into He's got something, but this is looking great for EF to get the pistol. Going to be up to double digits. Shiro's on seven points of health. He's got no chance. He absolutely does not. Uh, there we have it, saving the Kevlar by the looks of things, and it will be Eternal Fire picking up the second half pistol. Not bad at all after losing the first kill as well. Pretty simple strategy, smoking towards the Xbox and uh, completely charging up towards the short and indeed the A bomb site. Quite a defensive hold from C9, couldn't do much from the CT spawn position, and a hell of a shot to kick things open for Zantara, jumping up and just eviscerating the opponent beneath. I'm very happy with the, the fact that so far, I know that we're only 1.3, recurring uh, sure. days into Group D, yep. but so far it's been relatively competitive. The only team that didn't put up too much of a fight was E. The double digits uh, on Cloud9 on their own map pick of Inferno, but then got battered on Dust2. Really did. Mobistar and, and EF uh, are showing some good form here. So Force Bite, oh, Zantares has been chipped out through the smoke, and it's a similar looking Force Bite from Cloud9 to what we saw from EF in that first half with double scouts. Well, it will be a long focus from EF as well. You can see them getting that long control. All five players coming up. And we have got Shira, of course, with the, the scout itself. And Axel as well. So both scouts positioned towards long. Very similar mentality. One boosted, one below. Trying to get the double tags in and find a kill. You'd be hard pressed to think that they would just give this up for free. The flashbang should be coming over. Opportunities there as we see the damage start to rain in. A couple of tags, Chad. It's happening again. They tried a different approach, a pop flash and then push to try and take the space, but get tagged regardless. Now there's three players who are just well, one shot away from going down and more Zantaras and Woxie, potentially the three names you don't want on this low HP. And they've sacrificed so much map control now as well, and the fact they've taken these tags, they kind of have to commit. Because they go back for T-Spawn, they have no idea what CTs are encroaching on their position, so this is a bit of a nightmare situation. They're going to continue with the smokes up towards a bomb site as we just keep exchanging blows here. No further damage done for now, though. And here comes a full commitment. They have to try and get close with these rifles and shut down the potential oh. of the scout at the CZ. It's getting a little bit messy here. The flashbangs continue to rain in, but the T's oh. very far away oh. from the bomb site. Great shot from Shiro. Four versus two now, and we've got incredibly low players. Woxic and Zantaras, what a deadly duo they can be. Lovely boost. Should catch them off, but Woxic's ready for it. Well, they know Hobbit's there now as well. Inter still with this incendiary. Is he going to deploy it towards the side? There's 15 seconds. This could be perfect in low HP. The bomb spills loose. Zantara's, how are you meant to clutch this one out? The smoke is starting to fade, but needs to hit three banger shots. There's the first, the second, not too far off. There's just not enough time. He won't be able to plan. He needs to find the kills, and he might go down after time here. He's 
they smashed up Shiro and will survive. So Inter's essentially clutches this one out close. It, it is close, but in that two versus one, he had no chance of planting, but he does very well, Santaras, that is, to even stay alive at the AK-47. Uh, once again, that long focus from the T side up against the scouts, they get absolutely wrecked upon arrival. Three tags before they can even answer back there. You see Santaras trying to pick up the pieces, but as you can see at the top of your screen, no time. Takes four players down, so at least they don't save AKs, Chad, right? There's, there's no weapons being brought over into that next round, so that's something. Best of a bad situation. Absolutely. So uh, I think a tactical timeout is a very... Uh, wise and informed decision here from EF. They are going to be working with the bare minimum. They've got three MP9s to kick off round number 18, a couple of M4s, and still anyone's round, as uh, we'll see a force buy from EF in response. So he's gesturing down the line, at least in the direction of Paz and Amor there, and you can uh, imagine there's some, some conversations to be had here. The, the long spawns, Woxic has one, sure, but he's with the scout. scout. Yeah, so I'd like to see him drop down and with, fight mid. With no armor as well, you just can't really justify it. One nade and you're, you're going to be down to one HP. Well, it all comes down to how they use Zentaris here, right? He can crack this one open. He can win these rounds for them. That's what that is. On a map like this, 100% true. Yeah. We'll uh, pull on that thread. We'll see what he's up to. Down towards lower B, Zantares, man of the moment, needs to deliver here. Yeah, still up, 10 to 7, looking strong, but this is a very important round. Lose this one, C9 likely tied things up. He overlooks the position, and Hobbit, he'll take that all day long. Takes a shot through the door, they're doing some damage at least, but that was pretty much all they had, unfortunately. That AK is uh, removed pretty early on. Hobbit is trying to sneak away with no further disruption, and a nice little boost. You don't see this too often anymore, but still very viable. Especially in these sort of rounds, you know, they haven't got the Molotov or the double smoke potentially for this area. They're going to uh, actually bolster the B defense. So Nafani could have picked at that point after the boost to go towards A or the B side. Looks like he wants to help out Inters. It's split potentially. I say yeah. split. All four players are there. It's, and, that's, and that's, I guess, Nafani preempting this situation, knowing it's a right. lighter buy. The mid to B is, is a very likely option here. It's harder to spill well, out of catwalk. This is where Hobbit should be getting at least two or three kills. It's a prime spot, as mentioned. Difficult to actually flush him out when you don't have the utility. And there's the first, the second, looking for that first. <laughs> and uh, he makes light work of danger there. Really enjoyed that. Well, they have gone for the partial. So an investment of a Galil into Zentaris, the rest with pistol upgrades. And it looks like one of these B pops. Now on the site is Inters, currently on his lonesome, but has Shiro just outside. Yeah, Inters. Should be fine here. He has no further utility, however, but he has got the AK-47. So lots of damage output available when they do commit, if they commit. And uh, as mentioned, Shiro as well backing them up. He should be able to take at least one damage. The flashbangs are pretty effective here, but Inter's even more so. Double killed over things up. He's already done his job at this stage. There's the hat trick, and now just Santares. They just got a Galil, and he gets a double kill. If he gets a bomb down as well, he's done more than enough, but that's actually down towards the car. Ah, they seem Taking aware of that, don't another they? Another shot as he goes down to 2 HP. If he gets one more frag, that, that's a victory in its own right, to be honest with you. He's done a lot of work here. But uh, there we have it. Will be the pistol kill for Nafani to close things out. And Cloud9 taking the lead once again. They've won five rounds in a row after losing the pistol here. Now, we've said this about uh, Cloud9 back in their Gambit days as well. The, sure. This roster here is, is one of those teams with the style that they approach Counter-Strike. When they're playing opponents who are maybe of lesser caliber, they'll allow them to get to double digits. I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that they, they go, yeah, let's let these guys not get to make it fun. win. Yeah. <laughs> just their play style of like being quite heavy with the saves, always being allow their opponent to, to accrue a decent chunk of rounds regardless of who they are because there's never really a huge disrespect that comes out of the Cloud19. They're always very respectful of their opponents. Yeah, but Madra is point. looking extremely animated now. So he's trying to explain a concept here of what he needs from the teammates. I don't know what it feels like they're lacking, but uh, there's definitely something that he's trying to convey here. Well, for the first time, we will see the Woxic AWP being brought out. They have given up a lot of rounds here. Enable Cloud9 to take the lead, and Woxic will have the orb and no helmet. Bear that in mind, makes him very vulnerable to the M4s. And lower B entrance from Nafani and Hobbit. Two players actually investigating the area. And they will get a ton of info here, Chad. No one's there whatsoever. It is a long take elsewhere. As we'll see Axel defending from the car position. He's actually kind of stranded right now. He's alone towards the car. Has got the AK. So they, they've confirmed the B is clear. But look Top at the middle is clear no, as no well. No one's watching it at all. Hobbit's going to continue to push the issue here. And as soon as Axel takes any traction, he still has a, a smoke to drop at his feet. So they're condemned towards yeah, long for now. It. Ooh, it hasn't spread, it hasn't spread. Ooh, almost. The cleanest. Almost gives Zentaris a chance, doesn't he? Now the smoke comes out, now the full rotation. Remember, they're locked in towards long. Everybody from Cloud9 can respond to this. Yeah, 
They've locked the door behind them as well. Hobbit is waiting at the double doors. All four players committed. Hobbit just needs to sit back and wait. It's exactly what he's doing. The bomb's committed. They're a man down. And it's the danger man as well. It's going to be Zantara's dropped early. Didn't check the car. Strange scenes here, but imagine with a chance to pull one back, which he will. That's Axel dropped, the key frag. And if Paz can detect his presence towards long doors, maybe they're onto something. Yeah, I felt like Axel was on borrowed time to position like that. Unable yeah. to be found out. Now the smoke wall to cross. Now Hobbit has the util, but he's coming from the flank, so cannot slow this crawl down. He's going to have to do the bullets and bodies here from C9. And Inter's just spammed straight through. The perfect timing. One and a half kills. And more must be feeling... What can he possibly do? And oh, now no. Hobbit activates. He is such a nuisance. Woxic dead, trying to throw some util. Just Paz doesn't know where to look. 12 rounds for Cloud9. Now they strangle back this lead and looking good to close. Yeah, the worst of both worlds there for Eternal Fire. Lost complete map control, locked in towards long doors. They don't check the car position after Molotoving it as well. It's so unfortunate. Losing Zantaro so early on as well. And uh, walks it can't do anything about it. In the point I'm getting out of some boats. But yeah, well, you had to cover for me a sniper. You don't really have to give anything away, run that clock down. But uh, there we have it. It will be Cloud9 stealing the previous round, and potentially this round coming up as well. They take two early frags towards long. Is there any sort of response? Woxic finds one towards the car. A double kill. That's more like it. They need to find a bit more where that came from, but they are dropping like flies across the map here. Zantares. He was towards the mid Xbox, and now a three versus two in favor of Cloud9. Naphne just taking so much map control, and Hobbit, what a beast he's turning out to be here on Dust2. They have no idea where he is. Woxic trying to hunt for that information, but with the silence, I don't think it's even confirmed he was towards Car. That's so cheeky. So cheeky indeed from Hobbit. Those shots from Woxic were great, but they mean, nothing mean anything, do they? Yeah. At this point, he's thinking, will they let me hold on to this AWP? They have collapsed on this T side. Molotov won't actually flush out the player towards the car. He's behind it right now, and it should be Hobbit to close things out here. Excellent work. That's another pass. Give me this round at least. No, no, no. Give me this one. The game's over. Uh, I, I think they've had a good run. Uh, they seem competitive in, in patches. Naphne, just stay alive. Don't make me look like I actually have the power to curse matches of Counter-Strike. There are some superstitious people out there who believe in the sun of the stars, and I don't want to influence them at all here is Inters, the only defender B on the B bomb site. How many can he get? Turns the flashes. Inters chance to lock things down. Completely blind on the entry. Paz is in. Zantares needs something Ooh. and will convert a crispy shot there onto Naphne. So it'll be a save. It will have to be. It's uh, a timeout into a B execution and Zantares looking much better in this round for sure, but uh, need a lot more where that came from. They need five rounds in a row. Now down to four. Pretty much a clean sweep here towards the B bomb site. Money's still pretty strong on the CT side. And they'll be looking to save the AWP and the M4 if possible. And more though, he's got other ideas. Haven't said his name too often, I'll be honest. Not a quiet one from him, but uh, that's a resounding shot towards Axile. All right, well, if there's some hope, then it uh, is going to have to be four more consecutive rounds to take us to overtime. It's not outside the realms of possibility. Not likely, but uh, certainly possible. Shiro will be removed. No double orb set up here on the T side, however. And uh, the sign to believe. You can see the body language shifted in a more positive direction there for EF. Good preemptive shot towards the Inter's position. I'm just more powerful than I ever realized, Henry. You must be. I didn't know that I wielded this much power. You've cursed the entire game. So it, does that mean it is going to overtime now? Um, I'm not sure. I would say I think you're fine. Okay. But uh, this long take is to be very indicative as to which direction we're heading in. Zantaras will take a load of damage upon arrival, but still alive and kicking. They have garnered long control. And it's all five players again, Chad. So remember, we've talked about this many times for our Pro League. You've sacrificed all of the map control. You have no idea what's behind you. To retreat now and try and clear out all the angles that could potentially be taken over by the CTs is just not an option. You have to continue with your assaults. And that's what they'll do. And they've been punished with this before. So this time, Zantaras will be clearing the car. Axel has a one-way yeah. smoke available here <laughs> on the top of the site. Check the car. Should be all right. And the cross smokes are coming in now. Deploying some defensive utility. Hobbit will lob something forward. A bit of damage done. And oh, Zantaras love to run through the smoke. That's 27 kills for him, but will be traded out. Now it's on Axel. Up and over. The top of the site here residing. And Immort will find him. So another good-looking round. As Shiro peppered down to 27 points of health. A good huge nade. nade. But it's not confirmed. There's no way they know. Oh, they oh. know now. 
<laughs> okay, the jumping shot to deny the plant. That turns the round on its head. Incendiary deployed as well. Not the most effective one in a real dicey spot now. Trying to navigate their way through this three on three. Nafani in no man's land as well. He'll be dropped. That's a nice shot from Amor. Bomb still in a difficult position, but uh, sticking together in tandem. It looks like they might be saving as uh, Shiro just investigating the B bomb side potentially, but uh, he is out. If he goes around the world all the way, right, just puts his trainers on, likes the Fitbit around the wrist, gets a new personal best, he'll be there with about, I don't know, 25 seconds left on the bomb. So let's yeah. see, how, how far are we going to get here, Shiro? I think he just holds it. Are we position. calling it here? Yeah. So I didn't fancy it. A decent effort with the utility bombardment as well. I love the way they use Zentaris because it's so disruptive. It's yeah. subverting the expectation of a round like that, right? You expect those smokes to come through and the players to just trundle across up towards the ramp. Well, he charges through. That's a fun one. What's the invisible gun thing about? I can explain the invisible gun and the invisible crosshair to everybody know. at home. So this is an issue that is uh, a Valve issue. Sure. It's something that my good friend Rushley and I have uh, actually sent an email to Valve about previously with uh, a video clip of how to reproduce the issue. So now, since they've added to the game the droppable weapons, so you don't... As uh, we get into round number 28, ladies and gents, it will be Woxic with the AWP looking for the first shot if possible, but no damage done. Will it be another five-man take elsewhere on the map? Time will tell. Looks to be more of a default setup, at least for now. Woxic will be investigating the options towards mid. Really important round here. If there's no saves that come through, then, then Cloud9 will have to take an eco, likely to see EF get up to 14, and then it'll be all the marbles in round 30 here. So if Cloud9 can't close it now, expect this one to go the distance. There's that lovely flash from Paz again to facilitate this peak of Immor, and they will get the short control that they're looking for. Paz lining up a smoke as well. He's going to dribble this one forward. A bit of pressure towards the rotating man that in this instance will be Nafani. Bunkering down the B bomb site is Inters alongside of Hobbit. So... A short smoke deployed, but the majority of the firepower heading towards the B tunnels. Maybe this is the B split we've been looking for. Paz with the bomb, entering lower B, pretty much confirms it as well. So they've done a double smoke towards A to kind of suggest there is presence there. Try and keep Shiro on that side of the map, but Anthony's not buying it. He's towards CT spawn. He's ready and waiting for this one. Can he cause damage when they commit? Taras has been a real force on the entries. Now the mid to B coming through as well. Taras has taken down one, can't connect the dots into the second. Napani isn't going to be able to support. They've been able to make it through the mid to B. And now it's a three on three. The util advantage here is going to be with C9. The bomb's planted in the 40 second thrust on the top player. More just goes down to Shiro here. Must have picked towards that window position. Giving away a fight when he didn't need it. They know that Magic's towards the tunnels. They're going to isolate him. He's mollied out. He will have to fight through this. And Nafani's taken him. It's Paz. Needs the one on team. Needs both kills. He's taken down Nafani. It's just Shiro. The oh, but that is a great shot from Shiro there. Map secured for Cloud9. It got close in the end, but it was too little too late. It got a little bit dicey, that's for sure. But ultimately, Cloud9 were the better squad there towards the end. A great showing in the first half. Miepa dropped off significantly in the second.